Our collaboration with the Red Cross as a business for Land Rover started um, ages ago, 1954, I think. Um, and I think it's been a relationship which we've been you know, really enthusiastic and have continued to develop over the years, um, both the Red Cross, the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies and Land Rover specifically. You know, it's a, is it a marriage made in heaven? I mean, certainly the capability of the products works really, really well with the requirements of the, of the customer, in this case, the Red Cross. So, yeah, it's been a, a long-term relationship. I've been involved in that relationship for a number of years on and off. We've produced uh, a number of cars for them. And this is our latest, uh, latest edition, if you like. Clearly, it's the all-new Discovery. Um, and this is, uh, if you like, it's a search and rescue car. Um, so this would go into a disaster area, probably be the first vehicle there. And the fact that we've integrated the drone with the vehicle and it's a fully integrated land on clearly on top of the car when the car's moving can be controlled from inside the car means the drone can go right into the disaster area. We're going to be piloting it with the, the Red Cross in Austria later this year, we actually deliver the first car in June or July this year. Um, and I think we're, we're both parties are very excited about what it can do for, for us and for more importantly for the Red Cross. It's all about you know, how we harness technology for good. The Red Cross and Red Crescent Society is an, it's an international organisation. Um, you know, if we can prove that this technology works and is useful, we're piloting it with the Austrian Red Cross, if we can prove it works, then I would like to think that this is something that more, more um, federations would want to get involved with.